confidence, certainty and bold optimism from the Liberal leader. In 496 days, I will lead our party to victory at the 2025 state election. But a motion passed at the Liberal State Conference rejecting joint tickets with the Nationals in the Upper House is expected to make campaigning with their alliance partners more difficult. The Liberals will seek to keep the focus squarely on Premier Roger Cook instead. The Premier for concerts and special events, who refers to himself as Batman, is much more interested in announcing new gigs than actually outlining what he will do to fix a broken hospital system. Health, a primary battleground in the Liberals' bid to rebuild from the two lower house seats they were left with at the last election. Taking on the government's controversial decision to build a new women and children's hospital at Murdoch instead of Netherlands. A Liberal-led government will ensure this hospital is built at the QE2 medical site and we will start construction in our first term. Libby Medham's position on the hospital creates a clear divide with the state government and puts her on side with at least some health professionals who say that moving it to Murdoch would pose an unacceptable risk to women and babies. But the government says building the hospital at the QE2 site would delay the project by at least 10 years. So if the Liberals are committing to building it there, they are essentially cutting, cancelling the redevelopment of a women's and babies hospital. The Liberals are also targeting crime, promising to tighten bail laws. At the moment, the community of Western Australia, in regional Western Australia, in the suburbs of Perth, do not feel as if the courts have their back. Law and order and health are already firmly on the agenda for the 2025 campaign. Nick Perpich, ABC News.